Well, uh, the, the reaction to the reaction on the story about the Bieber prom proposal is, I don't understand. How did an innocent, fun story that should have been something Marissa Burrett could remember 20 years from now fondly turn into a nightmare for the woman, the young woman. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Here it is, she, she does this thing that uh, she knows is kind of funny and knows that there really is no way that this is gonna happen. She's not obsessing. Her family knows what's going on with it. They're involved in her life. And when I talked with her, I, I, I found that she really was pretty well adjusted and it was a lock. Yet, a group of people took it upon themselves to assume that it was an obsession and then it was bad and then a family's not paying attention to her, not taking care of her. The biggest thing though is not that they had that concern because everybody would. What, how they did it, how they delivered their message, it was with a sledgehammer and uh, it, all it did is, is make people mad. Uh, we knew that there was a problem pretty much from as soon as we posted the Facebook comment about the story, which was on my town, the community news website. We, we knew there was a problem initially because as soon as we posted it, all of a sudden we had several comments about why are you doing this? This isn't news. This is stupid. This is dumb. And Marissa just put on there, hey, you guys ever have a dream? Come on. And from there, it just went. Somehow, some way, we poked people. I don't see how we did that. Uh, the biggest thing there, there was a group, uh, there was a group of about six people, adults. I know they were adults, old enough to know better, and they were extremely aggressive. They were rude, obnoxious, uh, overbearing. I don't know what I can say that, uh, that about these, I have a hard time explaining it sometimes. It's just dumbfounded that this story, this innocent thing turned into such a mess. And when people posted that, hey, we understand your message, your opinion, but the way you're delivering it is a little harsh, they got even worse. And uh, it was a gang. It was a gang of six who beat up on a 17-year-old girl on KOTA's Facebook page. And that 17-year-old girl was a lot more mature than those adults. She said, enough is enough, and left. And the six kept going and going and going. And it, it got to the point we finally had to just delete the thread. We took away their toy. And they hooked onto the obsession part of it. The fact that she has wall-to-wall -wall Bieber stuff in her, in her room, uh, come on, it's a teenage girl for crying out loud. Uh, I guess these people forgot they were teenagers or they never were. The person who said, you're embarrassing the family, had as her profile photo an S&M shot of her or somebody spanking somebody else. And that is the kind of person who has the gall to say Marissa Burrett's family is embarrassed by Marissa? It's ridiculous. I, it's, I kind of thought about this a little bit the other night, and, uh, and I take it, you know, these six adults proved that they can be as bad as the meanest species on this planet, that being middle school girls. That's exactly what they are. It's not just the, the people who were poking and prodding at Marissa over this. It's also, in a sense, on the social media, people coming to her rescue. I understand the need for that. I understand uh, you, your desire to set, set the record straight. The only problem when you do it, you engage the crazies. Once, once you engage the crazies, they know where you live and they know how to poke you and they'll do it. And like I said, this specific story, as soon as it went on Facebook, there were people waiting for it. Not for this one specifically, just anything. They could argue about, fight about, yell about, and get people upset about.
I've been trying since ever since I've, I first did the story and posted the thing on Facebook, I've been trying to figure this out. What set them off? I went back, I reread the story. I reread the story. I went back and looked at individual sections of it. I've looked at the Bieber photo I put up on here for crying out loud. I thought maybe it's because she's a good looking young kid and these people feel like they're not her. I don't know, maybe it's that. Maybe there's jealousy involved in some of this thing. Uh, maybe it's just we, we have some mean people. Well, that's all there is to it. There isn't much, maybe there isn't a lot to explain to it. It's just they're mean people, leave them alone, let them go on and you go on. Too much energy goes into this, way too much. Oh, one of the first things, first thing you do uh, is whatever you type, do not hit the submit key until you take a breath, take a chill pill and then go back and look at it one more time. And then think, not only would I be upset if somebody saw that, because not everybody gets upset over things. Some people have thick skins, some have thin skins. Think maybe, what if my mother saw this post about me? Would she be upset? Yeah, I don't want to upset my mother. Think of everybody as having a mother. And, and, and do that before you post something. Uh, but uh, the biggest thing is, is, is be nice for crying out loud. Just be nice. You can set, you can get a message across. If they, if they actually had a concern about Marissa and obsession, they could very easily have, have taken that across there without berating her and without berating her family, without causing them to be defensive. Don't pick a fight. That's another thing. If you want to discuss something, discuss it. But you pick a fight, you're going to get one. It's, uh, it's badgering, cyber badgering. Maybe, let's not, maybe it doesn't go to the point of bullying, but it is badgering. They were baiting. They, and that's what a lot of this is. A lot of this is baiting people to come out and fight. You know, and, and that's why we took the toys away from them, because they couldn't play well. We don't engage in those. I find it very hard not to. I, I've written some things, and people have posted some, some comments, and, and I'll sit here and go, okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this person out because it'll take me all of a minute. No, because it just makes it worse. Whenever you engage them, it just pours, pours fuel onto the fire. So the best thing to do is, and it's terrible because my nature is not to walk away, uh, but your best thing to do is walk away from the crazies and, uh, and just go on with your life. That's it.